Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and this will be part 3 of the tutorial on modeling the Le Corbusier's famous Villa Savoie in Revit. And if you haven't seen the previous parts, I suggest you check out the links in the description of this video. And before I start, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe to catch up on later parts. And of course, I make videos like these pretty much every day, so make sure to see them. So, let's continue on with the modeling. So, we've done this curtain wall over here, but as you can see, we have that same curtain wall over here. It's just the flat wall. So, I'm just going to go WA for wall. And I'm going to be using the storefront too, because that's the one we created with kind of the short, short span between mullions. And there you go. Now we have this wall over here. And let's do the wall of this stair over here. So I'm just going to go WA for wall again. And let's find our generic 100 millimeter. And here for the properties, I'm going to go from ground level. And here we have unconnected. Let's go to the top level. Because this is basically going all the way to the top, this staircase. And let's start from the underground level. So it can go down to the basement. And I'm just going to do one wall over here, like so. Maybe move it down. I'm just using the arrow keys. And now I can select it and I can copy it. Just type in CO for copy. And I'm just going to copy it like this. And then again, I'm going to start the wall command. Use an arc. Start here and here. And there you go. So we have this arc and it's also going Oh, it's going from the ground level. So let's select everything again and make sure it's going from underground all the way up to the top level. Go apply. OK. So we have that finished. And we have pretty much all the walls over here done. We just need to add the doors and we're pretty much done with the ground level. So let's extend this wall over here all the way to this. This is all right. And let's just align this in place. Yeah, like so. Maybe lock it. And this doesn't align now, so we need to align that as well. OK, lock it in place. There you go. So let's start placing doors. And to do so, I'm just going to go to the door command or just type in DR. And I'm going to choose, let's choose this one, the 800. Let's see, yeah, that kind of corresponds to the dimension of the door on the drawing. And I'm just going to go by placing doors like this. And you can flip it by pressing space or just moving the cursor up or down. You can move to the other side. So just tap space, place it. Same thing here. Place it. But as you can see now, this is kind of getting in the way. So I'm just going to select this door, flip it to the other side. And let's move this wall like this so it's kind of out of the way of this door. And do the same thing here. And of course I can align this wall so I can just align this to this. So now we have enough space here for another door. So I'm just going to type in DR for door. Place another one over here. And let's just continue on. We have one over here. And let's see, that's pretty much it for these big doors. But as you can see, this is quite a small door over here. So I'm going to go DR again. I'm going to choose this 700 millimeter and I'm going to go to edit type. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm just going to delete this number two. And here for 762, I'm going to type in 662. So it's 600 millimeter door and once I've created this new door type, let's change the width to basically 662 and go OK. And now we have this small bathroom door that Le Corbusier used. And we have these walls over here. They're kind of weird, but let's create them anyway. So just go WA for wall. And I'm just going to create one wall going like this. Maybe move it out a bit. And another wall going like so. Then just use trim and extend to trim it in place. And here I'm going to 
just place a door this small door like so and now I can go WA again for wall use this fillet arc and let's just fillet this like so and let's just create an arc over here as well so go just select the wall go create similar use an arc and let's just create something like this okay that looks about right so we have all the doors so we're pretty much done with all the walls and doors for this floor plan now we need to add basically a floor slab over here just a concrete floor and for that I'm going to be using this floor tool and we have this generic 15 centimeter or 150 millimeter I'm just going to change it duplicate it and delete this too here I'm just going to type in 200 millimeter so now we have the new type and I'm just going to go to edit and change this to 0.2 meters and go OK OK and now we have our new floor slab so let's just place it like so and now we can align it to this column over here perhaps so just go AL for align lock it in place here it's OK to go I don't know like this and here it needs to correspond to these these here columns and these columns are 300 millimeters so this is 150 millimeter or 0.15 meters so I'm just going to type in here 0.15 and as you can see now it's just touching this column and I'm going to do the same on the other side just find this dimension line move it here and type 0.15 okay so this is all aligned and let's just cut out this pl place over here for the stairs so I'm just going to go here to pick lines pick this line this line this line and then just connect this and go OK and so we have our floor slab in basically the ground level but now if I select out of it you can see we can't really see our template underneath this floor slab so I'm just going to select it again and go and just right click anywhere on the screen right click go override graphics in view by element find the surface transparency and I'm going to crank this all the way up to like 60 and go apply okay and now you can see we can still see our template drawing underneath but we also have our floor in place and just later you can select it right click and go again override graphics in view and change it back so you can see it better let's just check out the 3d view now and as you can see this looks kinda weird it's too tall and basically all the walls are taller than our columns they're taller than the actual building so I kinda messed up because I didn't set the wall heights when I was placing it but don't worry it's called Revit because you can revise and edit everything so I'm just going to go back to ground level I'm going to just select everything and go into filter check none and just check walls go apply OK and now while holding the shift key I'm just going to remove this from the selection because we actually set these walls up good we didn't set these up good so I'm just going to go here from ground level and for top constraint it's going to be at basically floor level so I'm just going to go to floor level go apply wait for a second and let's go back into 3d and as you can see now it looks better we have this stair shaft basically going all the way up to the roof but all of our floors are actually quite right right now okay so let's move on to floor level right now so I'm just going to select this here floor and let's just copy it up so we have basically the floor on our floor level so I'm just going to go here and hit copy or copy to clipboard and I'm going to open up this paste menu or drop menu and go aligned to selected layer levels open it up select floor level go OK and as you can see it kinda duplicated this floor and now it's 
all the way up on this level. So now we can select this floor and let's just cut out this portion, portion over here and to do that we need to go back into floor level and here we are and as you can see again we can't see our template so let's just select it right click override graphics in view go by element surface transparency crank that all the way up go apply OK so once we've done that we can now edit kind of this hole but we need that hole to correspond to the walls below and how do we do that well we need to select first this image and we need to kind of make it disappear for a second because it's kind of in the way so I'm just going to go here to temporary hide isolate and go hide element once I've done that I can scroll here in the properties menu and go to underlay and I'm just going to go to ground level go apply and as you can see now we can kind of see these lines over here so let's just select this boundary and go edit boundary and let's just add these lines over here so we can have basically the hole for our ramp and let's just connect it over here and trim it in place so trim this this and that okay so we have our hole for basically our ramp over here go finish and if you want to attach walls to its bottom just go yes delete elements this is basically saying that all the mullions that are up in this in this floor slab will be deleted and that's okay and that's done and now we can just unhide this ramp and as you can see now we have our ramp hole for our ramp so we have our floor slab and now we can start modeling the walls now because the walls are pretty much done the same way as I did in the last project or in the last video where I did the ground level I'm just going to speed this up Okay, I finished all the doors and all the walls and if you don't know exactly how I did that you should probably watch the previous tutorial in which I explained how to do that on the floor level and it's pretty much the same thing here on the upper level and let's just go into 3D and again we need to set the wall heights so I'm just going to go back into floor level again select everything go filter check none check walls go apply OK 
and I'm just going to by holding shift just remove these walls from the selection and here for the top constraint I'm just going to go to level above which is actually the roof level and go apply and now let's go into 3D to check it out so there you go so we have our basically the ground level and our floor level completed so I'm going to stop right here and we're going to be continuing of course in part 4 so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe to catch the next tutorial on this like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day